I'm Camille. I'm Anita. And, and we're, we're the Soul, Soul Sisters. Sisters. Today we're going to talk about kind of the pros and cons of using different connector choices on your suit. So some of the variations that we can have on our suit is up on top we usually have a bow tie that's by and large our standard, um, but there are certain exceptions in which a uh, hook w could be beneficial. And the second option is in our connectors for the um, our waistline, we can do either a bow tie, a hook, or a back connector. And there is pros and cons to each of them. So the most common, I would say, would be the small bow tie. Um, and I Not guess- Not this long, it'd be shorter. Yeah, I was just gonna say, the biggest complaint about bow ties is too long of strings. Yeah. But what's great about that is you can just trim the suit. Right. So once you get the bow tie that you like the way it looks, then you would trim about you know an inch of fabric. Um, so then you'd have it nice and short. You can put a little knot at the end, but it's not gonna fray, it'll be fine no matter what. But I wouldn't leave that because it's just a distraction. I just feel like it's messy. Right. If you're coming down to being detailed and clean, even if your straps come in long, great, cut them down. Same for these. You don't want too clunky monkey unless you have super thick hair and it'll hide it. But get these to a nice tight bow and then snip, snip also. So when would a neck connector be an option, or what? When when would that? Would you recommend that? Um, some girls like them if they have short hair, so you can't. You, if you have you, super short. If hair. you have super super pix, pixie cut, super short hair, um, a connector is nice. But again, your body's changing, your boobs are changing, the weight is changing, and if you're connecting down here, bikini or here. Sometimes you want to get this tighter on show day and you weren't expecting it, right? Because you're thinner here and now you got to pull everything tighter here because you might have a hook here or something. But even with short, short hair, get a tight, tiny little bow and snip it off. It can still look super clean and, and well kept on stage. I would say that this one allows for the most customization for the fit on show day and I would recommend for almost anybody to just keep the ties and just trim them up. Right. I had one. ties at my neck during show day, I think I had a back connector. I have worn a back connector, I've had a hook, and I don't know if I've had ties or not. Oh no, I had a hook back here. So yeah, like even with us, it's not make or break. Some of the suits kind of made the changes and we just wear what we wear. Um, it won't make a big difference, but in the end, how clean does it look? How neat does it look? Is this a back connector because you're too petite, too big, and now your suit is drooping off of you? Because I've seen it. Is your back connector too big, and now it's laying down here on your back? Kind of pretty, kind of sexy, but not the thing you're supposed to be doing on stage. It's supposed to be right tight and right on point. So just make sure it's working in your favor. Yeah, I definitely see much more, if we're talking about problematic suit choices, I see more problems arising with the back connector. The long one. The yeah. soup, the long, the double connector, um, because we're getting rid of you know ten inches of elastic, and that's elastic that's helping to hold our body in place. Yep. And so if you're a very petite gal, like she was saying, you're yeah. eating up all your elastic. So your suit elastic is going to a want to zip right back through that channel the second you take yep, that it's suit super off. Super short. So you'll have top. to keep um, safety pins in there so it doesn't go yep. through the channel. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's far less customizable on show day. Right. You, If you drop that extra three pounds on peak week, that, like she said, the connectors might be sagging off of you a little right. bit on show day. Right. And, and again, I've seen it loose, but still fit work enough on the girl and it can, but you don't want to have that, that hassle, that headache and not know and have anything. But yeah. And I would say if you, this is your first time competing, I would go with a hook or a tie instead of a full back connector yeah. because you don't know exactly how your body's going to change right. in those weeks leading up to show day. Now if you've competed before or you're doing multiple shows in a season and you are at your leanest body fat and your body's probably not going to change a whole lot, we'll get your measurements for your back connector and it'll probably be just fine. Right. Um, and what we can do for the hooks too is sew in multiple Hook yeah, locations. so usually when we sew in any hooks, there's going to be one standard hook, and then there's going to be two or three holes. It's only get you an, it, it'll only get you another half inch, but that might be all you need, and you can technically cut the rest of the bulk off if you're comfortable to do so, or you can just leave it, and it usually tucks just fine. Same for the figure suits. Um, when we send them, they have multiple holes. So this one has two and it would get you another half inch of tightness. But this one 
have some tie strings. So where you might start to get loose in between on certain things, and you only have two holes here, you make up for it up here. Um, and it's crazy how something scared you X amount of time ago when it's tight to put on, now it, everything's just falling off of you. And you're like, ah! <laughs> yes, how your suit fits you when you're even four weeks out is going to be very different, different and yeah. should be different unless your body isn't changing a lot in those last four weeks. Um, but again, I would think that that would be kind of the exception, not the I think rule. It, it, and I think it kind of depends on the stage of the individual. Some pros are, you know, they're lean and mean that four weeks out, eight weeks out, they're a little bit more tuned in and, and toned up, you know, and some of us have a little bit more body fat to move and a little bit more inflammation to, sh to push out. So I think everyone's a little bit different, uh, but you just all know what we're dialing into at the same time. I guess that's the main thing, you know, where we're headed, that end result. Right, and so the, the pieces of information we use to create your suit because you're like, well, I don't even know what my body's gonna look like. Right. How do you know what right. my body's gonna look right. like and how it's gonna fit? Well, Anita's been making suits for over 10 years. Oh yeah, 10 or 12, 12? I think it's 12. I'd have to look to make sure. So, and it, it, took a lot of, it took a long time and it really wasn't even a trial and error when I first started out. Um, if it ended up being too big, we just cut another one because they are so small and we had the processes down. So um, as we dial in between a 5'8 girl and a 5 foot girl, those are the differences because the changes aren't too you know, different. Implants versus real boob aren't even that different. Cup size might be different for everyone, but even if you don't necessarily have implants, you might still be wearing the same type of bikini and it's just gonna be filled with the padding at that point. Um, so, as your body's changing and melting away, we're prepared and we know as to where you started, how much kind of looking at a person, how much body fat will be leaving as the plan is, and then how we can fit from there. Um, and we all have different bodies, but I've worked with all structures, you name it, I have many, many a story. So from very petite to very large bone structures, um, there's a pattern for everyone out there. And then you don't notice it on stage. If you have the right suit, you don't notice that you're a larger structure or a very petite because your suit isn't oversized on you as a petite figure or too small on you as a very big structured figure. So it's the fit and the visual appearance is very important. Very important. And that's why we ask for photos as part of our fit inquiry process. Um, yes. If we know your height, and weight and how many weeks you are currently when you send those photos to us of like your normal progress pictures that you would send to your coach. That's gonna help us be able to make the changes we need to make to be able to predictively yes. guess where our body's going to be by show date. Yes, and to me nothing's easier than seeing someone in a suit I've made with a pattern I know. So it, as we send you suit samples and it might not be fitting you perfectly, well, I know exactly just by seeing that suit on you which road I need to take to get it perfect or what needs to happen because I have my base pattern ready and prepared. So that's a big thing too as you're trying on different suits. It's not the end all be all. Um, we're going to get it to the, that proper fit for you. And um, that brings me to another thing. It's something new that we're doing this year as part of our online fit process is we're offering a posing suit. So if you're ordering a custom suit, you can purchase a posing suit for $125. And you can even get it in the same fabric as your competition suit if you wanted kind of a pre-prep and a post-prep suit to wear um, to kind of match each other. Or you could do, choose a different fabric. Some people just like a plain black for their posing suit, whichever is fine. Um, but it is a nice way to get it, get your hands on that fabric and get a feel for what that fit is going to look like when you're, as your body is changing. So our posing suits will have more um, customizable options for fitting and you know we'll have straps instead of connectors um, up on top here again so that we're looking for a little bit of a different product. We're looking for that something that's a little bit more durable that can be taken on, put on, put on, put on. It can be practices so you're not just practicing always in your shorts and your bra or whatever, but you can get hone in when you get ready that you can be wearing a suit that's going to be a similar cut to what you're wearing, but not actually that show piece that would be less durable um, and less of an investment. I mean, a lot of girls are investing five, six, eight hundred, a thousand dollars on a suit sometimes more, so you just want to make sure that um, 
that that hundred and twenty five dollar investment you can toss in your gym bag and not lose sleep over. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. And so that's uh, a fun option we're doing this year for testing your fit as well as giving yourself a posing suit. So if you know that you're competing in four months and you want to get started on your suit making process, this is a fun way to get involved in the suit buying process early and have something you can pose in all along the way. So definitely look for that on our website or send me a message if you're interested in something like that. Absolutely. Um, because our competition suits, both the rhinestones and the connectors, they are costume for presentation and we don't want to put extra wear and tear on them if we don't need to. Suits can be worn for show and show and show and show time and time again. Um, but things like butt, t butt glue, um, tanner that didn't get washed out right, and then excessive on and off of wearing. Maybe if you and try to wear it as a practice. Just a folded um, connector folded wrong can send you down the wrong path, right? They're just kind of delicate, and you need to be careful with them. They're very durable at the same time. Like we have very strong connectors, we have very great elastic. The fabric is wonderful, but you never know when something could get a kink in it and snap it. It's like a, it's like a necklace. Right, so hopefully that helps um, give a little bit more background um, when it comes to deciding what, how you would like your connectors to be for show day. Hope you shine on stage. Shine on.